welcome back. Today we are in The Sims 4 again doing another build video, video sorry, um, or renovation I should actually say, I can't speak. Um, renovation video in The Sims 4 um, and today we are doing um, one of the houses in the university world. Um, they are horrible, the university houses. Like the university, it's like you can tell The Sims kind of just like focus more on the universities itself which I mean the pack is about the universities but like if you compare it to the high school years world it's very different and so one of the things that it is lacking in the world is the houses that I mean maybe it's the aesthetic they're going for and I don't like that aesthetic but they are just horrible houses so I completely changed this house basically well not mm, I kind of just like originally it was just kind of like a, a weird a tri um, I was gonna say triangle um no triangle a uh, rectangle shaped house two stories and it was all on the like high level walls which I hate the high level walls I would never use them in a build even like the medium height walls I don't like so I always just stick to like the first level of the wall heights in the sims um so I shrunk the wall heights down and then kind of just like gave the house a little something extra like it's still got the original you know rectangle shaped house but then I sort of just like taken half of the upstairs and like moved it to the side so that you've got you know more shape to the house so it's not just like one like long two-story house like it's, there's some shape to it you know um, and then went from there I guess um, kind of kept a similar kind of layout I did add a separate room so we've got the dining table dining room now sorry um, there as like a separate room as it was sort of just as the downstairs now has like an extra space because to because the, the downstairs I kept the same shape as the upstairs that I removed um, kind of removed pushed the make made smaller but then because I added the extra room it meant kind of end up being the same size but then it meant the downstairs had to add an extra room so the downstairs ended up being bigger than it originally was but then it cut it's fine I ended up filling out the space anyway but yeah that was the main thing sort of change was that um so now it has like a separate dining room um but it did mean I had to struggle a little bit because it meant the downstairs had a lot of space and I didn't know what to do with so it meant I did a, like a really large living room um I mean the kitchen is also a decent size as well considering this is only a one bedroom house I probably could have made it into a two bedroom house but I decided not to um so yeah it just ended up being that we had a massive living room for one sim well you could have two sims living here but one sim I guess for now um and then yeah so quite a big lounge and then decent sized kitchen added I mean I had to add like a lot of clutter around to kind of fill up that space a little bit um so we've got some shelving to fill up that space um some ottomans to f as well around not in the living room but kind of in the living room like it's there it's in the same sort of space but it's not like part of the main I don't know it's just it's the other thought space um and then yeah just some pictures on the wall um some clutter on the table um some more pictures and stuff to make the little walls feel a little, a little less empty I guess um went for a blue, blue theme for this house um as there is blue brick on the on the top stairs of the I did two separate um um kind of layers to the house because so, I saw um, some houses around the house I was building had like two separate so that the upstairs was like brick and the downstairs was like cement so I kind of copied that to fit it in with the rest of the world and so the brick on the top story is blue so it meant the whole house ended up now having to be blue as well I guess um for the dining room it's quite it's, I think it's a good size like it fits a six seater and it probably could fit eight as well it might be a little more snug it, it meant I guess you could do eight but like not have like I added a like a little like table an extra table in there 
this is a table, I don't understand what they're called, in there as well, and some plants to add something else to it, but if you, you could fit an 8 in there, 8 are in there, um, but yeah, just adding some other stuff downstairs, fill up the space, and yeah, moving on to the upstairs though, like I said, it's just one bedroom, um, plus a really big bathroom actually, um, so yeah, that is basically upstairs though, just got, I went for the, um, they call it the Lux kit, I thought it worked quite well with the theme I was going for for this and then I also added an office upstairs but like it's not separate to the bedroom like it's all just in the same room um, just because I thought then it would be a little too snug like for an office I, get, I probably could add an extra wall in but yeah just decided to leave it as is and just have it as a bedroom office area um, but yeah, just adding a shelf to this area. Um, the office is just a standard kind of computer with your desk and everything. Um, also have like a vanity area for the bedroom. Um, thought that was quite cute. Added these like curtain lights over the bed. Um, just cause I uh, thought they worked with the space. Um, adding some clutter around to fill up the space and to make the tabletops in the bedroom look a little less empty and sad um, but yeah just adding some of the final kind of touches to the room um, and adding some mirrors and stuff um, for the bathroom though just kind of continuing with that theme I guess um, I did some curtains for the bathroom because you don't not want people seeing even though it's on the top story but still um, it's quite a large bathroom, I mean I could have a bath and a shower in there and a double sink I think I went for in the end, I can't remember, yep, a double sink and um, just everything else standard for a bathroom, went for a dark tile I believe, um, yeah and just a dark blue, but yeah um, and I did some flowers and stuff but yeah, there's not really much else though, adding kind of the final touches around the house here and a little seat I thought could work in this little area, um, seating area, sorry, um, just again with the door, the call of the Lux kit and um, yeah though, that's but it really though, kind of just adds some sort of more stuff to the outside um, so yeah, I'm going to write it up here. I think guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, let me know. And I'll see you guys again soon with another one. Bye.